Today I'm going to show you how to save some of the manual work of setting up Cisco Jabber. Uh, but when you install on an end user's desktop, if you don't have uh, an SRV record, you're going to run to this. And you're going to have to go into advanced settings, uh, put in the IP address of your call manager, choose 9 or later, um, and then put in their full email address or username, domain combination, and log in. Um, but if you set up an SRV record, that information will all be pulled in automatically and they just use, need to use their password, um, whether that's uh, LDAP sync or a local account to a log in. So I will show you how that works. I'll go ahead and get logged into my DNS server. And on that note, for this to work, you have to have DNS running. So this might be a trip up if you are in a lab environment and don't have a DNS server running. So just one note before we move forward. Okay, so I am on my DNS server. I will just open up the application. I have my little cheat sheet right next to me. I'm going to go to forward lookup zones and then the domain that this computer is on, which is uptime network and voice dot local. And I'm going to right click it and choose other new records. And then it's almost all the way at the bottom. Uh, let's see, where are you? SRV, so service location, SRV. And then I'm going to choose create record. The domain will get pulled in up automatically and then I'm going to choose underscore Cisco dash UDS and then protocol is just underscore TCP. Priority is zero, weight is zero, port number, you do need that, 8443. And then the IP address of your TFTP call manager, whatever it's going to register with. So then I will just click OK and done. And now um, I can see here that it's right here, underscore Cisco UDS. And if I expand this a little bit, I can see that it is pointed towards my call manager publisher, which is 10.0.0.10. So now I will go back over to that workstation. Here I am logged in as Jim Harbaugh. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just exit Cisco Jabber. And then hopefully when I restart it, it's going to find those services. Maybe not. I'm going to reset Jabber to. Okay, so there we go. I did file, reset Jabber, and then it automatically pulled in the username. So all I need to do is enter my password. and go ahead and sign in and there it is so i'm just going to go ahead and skip that um, and that's that's about it i can now make calls call my desk phone oh cisco unity and that's working um so if that's all you needed um, that's about it uh, thanks for watching. Uh, for some bonus content, if you don't know how to set up a user for Jabber and create a new Jabber, you can uh, watch this. I will do that for the rest of the video. So I'm going to go back over to Call Manager, and I'm going to start with a user. Um, I just created this user named Jane Doe. So I'll go over here, and I'm going to go to Service Settings, choose Home Cluster, and Enable User for unified CMIM blah 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 this one right here and then I'm going to come down to mobility information choose enable mobility then I'm going to go down to permissions information add to access control group if this is blank click find um, and I'm going to use standard CCM end users and standard CTI enabled then I'm going to go ahead and click save and that's all I need to do for the user Next, I'm going to go to device, phone, and I'm going to choose add new. And I'm going to go to phone type, Cisco Unified Framework Services is what I believe it's called. Cisco Unified Client Services Framework. Next. And I'm going to do CSF J, J Doe, description Jane. Do Jabber device pool phones. I'll leave that the same phone button template. Let's see, calling search space. Um, these will all be different for yours. Um, then I do need to choose a user, and I'm going to choose 
J. Doe. Um, and if we hadn't done um, the rest of the setup of user that we just did, we wouldn't get past this part here. It would say user needs to have mobility. Um, so before we click save, I think we need to find SIP security. Let me just say security. Device security profile. Uh, we can just choose Cisco Unified Client Services Framework Standard SIP. Uh, we need to use a SIP profile. So those two things before we can save. SIP profile, device security profile. And I don't think it's going to yell at us. Okay. So that worked. So now I'm going to log into that workstation as uh, Jane Doe. Okay, so this is the same machine I was logged in as Jim Harbaugh. So it should have Jabber installed. And it should automatically pull her information. That's a good sign. And it helped when I typed. I realize I didn't add an extension to this. So let me quick do that. So on that phone, go to add a new DN, and then I'm going to choose 5001. All phones. I'll say Jane Doe. That should be all we need. And there we go. It logged in. In 5001, the extension we just added. So there you have it. That is how you have um, a computer automatically find the services for Jabber, how to create uh, a Jabber phone, and how to set up an end user to use it. Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Thanks.